Hello YouTube, B3, you're back another kicking action figure review. Today I have one I never thought I'd really actually end up picking up. Uh, it is the Watchmen Adult Collector Dr. Manhattan figure from Mattel. Yeah, this was a Mattel shop exclusive. Uh, all these Watchmen figures came out for about 30 bucks a piece originally. Yeah, but I got this guy for 20 on Amazon, free shipping, so that was pretty cool. You know, I just kind of did a quick search for some Watchmen stuff because Rebirth... And, uh, yeah, Dr. Manhattan was very well priced, so I got him, you know? I feel like $10 of the price, though, actually goes towards the packaging. This big collector's package, uh, with the Doomsday Clock, and then if you get all the boxes, they line up, and there's graffiti that says, Who Watches the Watchmen? Same thing on the back, for the most part. And then you get Clockwork and Hydrogen, Dr. Manhattan's emblem. So, yeah, that's it. Now... Let's open the dock up! So inside the box sleeve, there is yet another package. Uh, it kind of looks like the graphic novel, Watchmen, Blood, Smiley Eye, Dr. Manhattan. Uh, the spine's got him on it. So whatever. Uh, part of Watchmen if you line it all up. And then it opens uh, with the figure and stand on this side here. And his character card are right here. His character cards. So, that's that. Under normal circumstances, I probably wouldn't have taken the card out of the plastic at all. But since this is a review, you're welcome. So, here's the part you already saw. Dr. Manhattan himself. This kind of tarot card looking shit. And then, uh, on the back, omniscient, powerful, and human, the son of a watchmaker, Jonathan Osterman was a cog in the ever-growing machine of atomic physics. An unforeseeable accident seemingly caused his complete annihilation until his atoms were reformed into something else. Able to see the past, present, and future simultaneously, this blue hood being known as Dr. Manhattan continued to work for the government, foregoing any sense of human morality for the sake of scientific advancement. Yeah, you're welcome. But, uh, yeah, so that's his card. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to throw it back in the box. Probably never look at it again. But, yeah, now let's get to the figure itself. Here he is, out of the package, Dr. Manhattan. Yeah, uh, about what you would expect. Pretty much exactly what you would expect from this figure. <laughs> uh, blue body, probably the plainest one out of the whole lot. Uh, but he, he's, you know, he's got some, some stuff going for him. Like, uh, he's got shorts instead of a thong, which is nice. <laughs> That's good. Uh, there is shading on this guy. They did bother to shade him up, so that's nice, too. Uh, but, you know, he's got a good head sculpt. I think they really nailed the eyes. I like the look of that. Uh, very clean paint on the hydrogen there. I mean, he looks good. I'm glad they gave him these these kind of hands. You know, he's godly hands. They are very nice, and they aren't both the same, so that's cool, too. Uh, and he even has feet feet. <laughs> and not instead of just the round feet, so yeah, he's about as naked as you can get and still sell it <laughs> as a collectible. But uh, yeah, so he looks pretty much exactly how you would expect. Uh, articulation wise, also really exactly what you would expect up on the head and side to side. You got the ab crunch, you know, up and down, forward, back. On that arm, you get the bicep swivel, elbow bend, wrist rotation. You got the waist swivel, in and out on the leg, forward and back on the leg. You got a thigh swivel, knee bend, and up and down on the foot. Right? That's cool. That's cool. That's ace. That's chief. That's absolutely chief. It's ace. It's cool, of course. So, yeah. Uh... Dr. Manhattan, you know, pretty... Ooh, my cat's falling. She's falling. Kitty. She's okay. Cats are very durable animals. But, uh... <laughs> uh all these Watchmen characters come with a stand. Will I need it? No. Uh, he stands pretty well himself. But I will show you how well he fits on the stand. Bop, 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 bop. Good to go. Cool. So, now about we get into some size comparisons, huh? For our first size comparison of the review, I'll show them with some Mattel movie figures. Since there was a 
Watchmen movie where Dr. Manhattan didn't really look any different. Why, why, what do you need to change, really? But, uh, yeah. So here he is with Batman vs. Superman Batman and Wonder Woman from the Wonder Woman movie line, both DC Multiverse. Now we're going to mix it up with some DC collectibles. Here on the left from the Greg Capullo Designer Series, the Zero Year Red Hood. And here on the right from the Forever Evil line, New 52 Bizarro. Here's some Mattel comic figures. On the left, Earth-23 Superman from the DC Multiverse line. And on the right from the DC Unlimited line, New 52 Wonder Woman. If you're interested in seeing Dr. Manhattan with some DC icons, here he is with Mr. Miracle on the left and Black Adam on the right. And lastly, for size comparisons, here is Dr. Manhattan with some TV show characters, uh, just Mattel ones. Here on the left, the Arrow, and on the right, Supergirl! So in the end, what do I think of the Mattel website exclusive Dr. Manhattan Watchmen figure? Well, I think nothing ends, Adrian. Nothing ever ends. <laughs> I set up a joke. But, uh, he's exactly what I expected. Exactly what I expected. Don't pay 30 bucks for this guy. Absolutely do not pay $30 for a Mattel Dr. Manhattan. 100% do not. I mean, it's just a base body that you've seen a ton of times already. With some sculpted feet, hands, and head. The paint's good. It's fine. It's all it's Gucci. It's Gucci. It's very Gucci. It's going to scale well with your other Mattel DC stuff for the most part, you know? Uh, or the ones he's in the same line as and stuff. He's going to scale fine. He's going to scale fine. But, uh, 30 bucks? No. I got him for 20. Free shipping. That was perfect. That was perfect. 30 bucks plus shipping? No. I almost got the Rorschach when they came out. And I was like, 30 plus shipping for for that? No, you're most you were mostly paying for the package, honestly. <sighs> well, a third of it was like just for the package. Insane. It was absolutely insane. But yeah, uh, that's it. Will they make another Doctor Manhattan figure because of Rebirth? I don't fucking know. None has been announced at the time of this. At the time of recording this, all we've seen of Doctor Manhattan in Rebirth is his freaking hand at the end of the button. That's it. So yeah, I I just don't know. I do not know. But, uh, if you like Watchmen, if you like Rebirth, check Amazon. See if you can get a Dr. Manhattan for a good price. But that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. That is it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all later.